BMEG still with a very good opportunity in this game, though they're down 11. Roger Yap taking over the point position now for BMEG Derby Ace. Out to James Yap. And Washam still staying strong inside. James Yap picking up the loose ball. Still a lot of time on the shot clock here for the Llamados, but in comes Roger Yap, hand off to Watson. Watson. Oh, great block by Danny I. Good help defense right there, coming over, getting a piece of that shot by Washam. High screen. And Freeman. Oh, my! What a tough shot! I don't know what you call that one, but that was tough. Must be something in the water over at the San Miguel Beerman dugout. Well, BMEG really needs to get something going offensively here. They've been stuck on the 64 mark for a little while and have been struggling to get a good look. Oh, and that's a kamikaze drive, courtesy of Tony Washam there. And it's a tough matchup for Danny Eyes, having to guard Washam out there on the perimeter. Washam taking advantage of his quickness and offensive ability. Approaching the seven-minute mark now of the fourth quarter. Kabagnut. Mulling his options here from the outside. He goes for the three. Again, a tough possession. That was all Alex Kabagnut dribbling until he took a challenge three-point shot. Oh, and look at this. It's just nonstop production now from Tony Wasson. A gutsy three-point shot. Danny I was right there. Maybe Wasson even getting a high five on the follow-through from Danny I, but he knocks it down. So 28 now for Tony Wasson. And look at that battle for the loose ball. Will it lead to a, to a basket here? Fingerson took some contact and stealing a little bit on that play. El Defonso against Rivas. The short one is off. BMEG Derby Ace will try to set themselves up here. They go to Pingris. Pingris on the drive. Oh, look at Freeman with another monster rebound. Just huge in traffic against the two heroes of BMEG last game, who were Rafi Rivas and Mark Pingris. And we now have a 30-second timeout brought to you by Handy Fix on first aid and Bahay Mo Bonds all seals all. That was Gabe Freeman's 19th rebound of this game. He had 25 rebounds last game, 19 already this game with 540 to go, and he continues to bring so much on both sides of the floor for his team. Well, he's putting in the work while the import on the BMAC Derby A side, on the other hand, maybe starting up, started to feel like he has to take over now for the offense of BMAC Derby Ace. James Yep has not had a good look all fourth quarter long. Yeah. Well, it's really been, and they're two radically different players. Washington, much more of a skill player and a perimeter player. Gabe, much more of a player around the basket, athletic, energetic, who's going to make things happen. Again, just rebounding the ball as he did right there, but it's only an eight-point lead. As big as that rebound was, mm -hmm. BMEG has slowly just bit by bit chipped away, and they've done this many times before throughout the course of this year. Pontiveros. Now Kabagnut. And the double team working now for BMEG Derby Ace, forcing the turnover. Roger Yap. Inside the Pingris. Pingris scores against Washington. Mark Pingris was the guy who caused that steal and then is the guy who benefits on the other end, playing big late in this ballgame. And now BMEG Derby Ace within six. Import against import now. Freeman. Santos. 
takes the jumper. Oh, oh, what a jumper nailed by Arwin Santos. Arwin Santos has made some huge shots here in this second half. Roger, yep, biding his time. Now Pingris trying to make his move from the low post. Four seconds left on the shot clock. Roger, yep. Well, and that was fortunate for BMAG because Mark Pingris took a long time with the basketball in the post. And then when he did finally kick it out to Roger Yap, it was a very slow bounce pass. Yap just doing an excellent job of drawing a foul and getting to the free throw line. And it's been a while since we've seen the BMAG Derby East Yamandos troop to the line. And we have some special guests here at the Aranata Coliseum, Consul Eddie de Guzman and Ador de Guzman joining us here along with Commissioner Sonny Barrios. Enjoying the action of game six in the semifinal series. Roger Yap delivers some crucial free throws. Six point game. You gotta love the heart of BMEG. Jay Washington. Inside. Nice give and go, but incomplete by Gabe Freeman. Now here it comes. Down to four, and Coach John Duncan says he's going to need to time out as a hurrying meta is exploding with all the momentum on the BMAC side. Tony Washington continues to keep it simple, and that has yielded 30 points for the BMAC Derby Ace import. And this 30 second timeout brought to you by Handy Fix and First Aid Dambahe Mo Bonds All Seals All. Well, that play comes again off of the high pick and roll. This time they reversed the situation. They had Jay Wash handling the ball off the pick and roll. Gabe Freeman setting the screen, rolling to the basket. Freeman's unable to finish off the roll, and right as soon as the pass was thrown, Washington leaked out and gotten that little cherry pick layup to cut it to four. And let's take a look at this power move brought to you by Derby East Premium Formula. Dita Panasa Yamada, second time around for Tony Watson. Look at him. And even though there wasn't much contact on that play, you hear him. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe doing that to scare off the defenders instead. <laughs> Four point ball game at the four minute mark now of the payoff period. High screen for Jay Washington. No entry for San Miguel, so Arwin Santos takes the three. That's short. Big board by Jay Wash. And now the Yamadas takes the possession back. Washam makes his move. No. Oh, that was a tough shot. I think he was feeling the adrenaline on that one. Beerman still holding on here with a four-point advantage. Kabagnot moves in. Oh, and that could be an offensive foul. I think they're going to no. get Revis with the block. But that's only going to be, I think, the first team foul on BMEG in this entire fourth quarter. Another look at this stab from uh, Kabagnot and Revis. He kind of took it on the right outside half of yes. his body, but he was set, so he wasn't really moving. It's, it's just the hardest call to make in basketball, the block, the charge call. But you like Rafi Rivas stepping in to try to draw the charge on that play. That one could have gone either way. Kabagnot facing up to the pressure. First point for Kabagnot here in this second half, a big free throw that his team really needed. And that's 12 now for Alex Kabagnot. So let's see if uh, b makes able to get James Yap a good look as they'll continue to attack through Washington. James Yap for three. That's short. Washington with a loose ball. Great tip out by Rafi Rivas. Washington just lost that one. And Washington claiming that that was tapped out of bounds by a San Miguel player. 
No doubt frustrated about that play, but they need to just leave it behind and then go on 